Mike writes us, can you provide me with recommendations for training junior and senior high school wrestling teams? Um, uh, the very first Strength and Health magazine I ever bought, 75 cents or whatever it was, had an article about high school wrestling. And the guy said an interesting thing. He said, you know, <laughs> the one thing about the Olympic lifts, so I'm a hundred and I think I wrestled what 154s and 163s, fives, whatever it was, whatever the number was. If I can clean and press at that weight, my body weight, and I can snatch my body weight, what that tells me when I go out and shake that guy's hand is I can pick him up and throw him over my head. So I still think that the best thing you can do for wrestling is the clean and press, the snatch, and the clean and jerk. Now, you're going to raise your hand and say, I don't know how to teach those. Well, can you teach the power clean, the military, and the front squat? Uh, I still think those all body movements are still the best. And it's interesting, when you go back a century ago, those professional wrestlers all did this exercise called the Turkish getup. Now, I would get away from the cult of the Turkish getup, but there is great value in Turkish getups for wrestlers. Uh, any kind of up-down action. And let me throw in one other thing. That's, of course, uh, tumbling. Um, I use tumbling as conditioning for American football players, but tumbling and wrestling tie together uh, like peas and carrots. Um, so, yeah, that would be the first thing I'd recommend. Try try the Olympic lifts. If not, move to the program I have called Southwood and then include tumbling. 